Hey, welcome back to the Gospel Music Training Center. JP here, Jonathan Powell. Thanks for tuning in to another video tutorial. And this week, what we're going to be doing is covering chords and progressions that relate to the song entitled Deliver Me. It's a very easy song to play. It's very repetitive in the key of A flat major. And this is one of those songs that you can take these concepts and apply them to other areas of your playing. And you should be able to play this pretty fast. All right, so we're going to break this all the way down. We're going to be in the key of A flat major. Uh, let's check out the number system and scale. So A flat is the one. B flat is the two. C is the three. D flat is the four. E flat is the five. F is the six. G is the seven. And we're back at the one, A flat. So that is our number system and scale. That's what we're going to use to identify the chord progressions and things that are happening in the song. So say, for example, I said we're going to go from the two to the five to the one. That's a very common chord progression. What would that be? Well, in the left hand, the chord progression is going to be determined by that, the left hand. So we will say the two is B flat. That's the second tone of the E, I'm sorry, the A flat major scale. The five is E flat. And then the one is A flat. So that's a two, five, one. So that's just an example of how to use the number system um, in the key of A flat major, but let's get to it. So the first part of the song, it actually starts off on the one. Then it stays there. So I know if you're a beginner or intermediate player, you might be looking at this because playing octaves and then playing a big chord like this is not an easy thing to do. But stick with me. I'm going to simplify this for those of you who are on the earlier side of, of playing the piano. But basically what's happening is um, we start off on the one and I'll play with the loop so you can see. So it's like this. Almost didn't make that one. <laughs> And then we go to the, the four. So basically, we're going from the one, stay there, stay there again. And then this little lick. And that takes us to the four. So the basic idea of what's happening on the one is we're going to start off with an A flat major chord. Then we're going to switch the chord to an A flat major seven chord, a major seven. And then we're going to switch the chord to an A flat dominant seven chord. So we're basically taking this one chord and taking you through three different types of chord qualities. Major, major seven, well not three different, uh, two different pretty much, because major is major. Um, but <laughs> we're going from major to major seven and then to a dominant seven. So if we were to look at this in just simple root position, right, starting from the A-flat major chord, so you can get an idea of what's happening, all we're doing is going from a regular A-flat major chord. And then to change this chord to an A-flat major 7, all you have to do is drop the A-flat down to G, OK? And then to turn it into an A-flat dominant 7, all you got to do is drop the G to G-flat, just in a nutshell. It doesn't matter what hand position you're in. You can be in this position, which is closer to the, the actual song. This is an A flat major in second inversion. And all we do is go to A flat major seven, drop that A flat down to G. So now we have an A flat major seven. And then if we drop it again, now we have an A flat dominant seven. So it's just as simple as taking the A flat and dropping it no matter where you are, even if you're in this hand position or root voicing for uh, an A flat chord. This is first inversion. Watch this. Drop the A flat down to G. Drop it down to G flat. OK? So you should know what an A flat major chord is, but always, the major seven is always a half step below the root note. So whenever you start to extend chords, um, there's different rules that apply. That's why I hope you actually got a chance to go through Chord County because Chord County explains a lot of this type of stuff. But just a quick recap. 
Let's say you want to turn this regular A flat major 